Okay, so in our course that we have for you, the IELTS Complete course, where we're teaching you how to do the IELTS exam, um, we are big proponents. We really support using the Cambridge books uh, for your practice material. Um, we're going to be using different Cambridge books um, to teach this class and to teach this course. So I encourage you to go out and buy the books. Uh, you can get them online. Uh, you can get them maybe, maybe at some of your local stores. But even, I'm, I'm te we're teaching this course online. But I think it's a really good idea for you to physically have the book. The reason why I say that, the reason why I say that you should physically have the book is because it, the, the, the IELTS exam is a paper-based test. And so when you're practicing, when you're doing your practice, right, you're, you're going through our course and we're teaching you how to do it. We're explaining to you the best ways to do it. When you're going through our course, we want you to really, um, you know, we're, we're teaching you method, strategy, tactics, so you can get a really high score. But when you're practicing by yourself, you don't need to practice on a computer. You need to practice with paper because the real exam is all about paper. So I tell students, as you're going through the course with me, as you're going through the course with me and you're learning what to do, um, I think it's really good for you, um, IELTS Book 8, Book 9, um, I think it's, it's really, really good for you to um, have the book with you so that sometimes you can stop the lecture before I go through an example and you can do it on your own. Okay, you can do it on your own, and then you can be able to then listen, look at the look at the lecture, and see how I really explain the answers in terms of how you get the answers. Also, if you get your own books, um, you're going to be able to replay the audio again that I have. You can replay the tape again that I have, listen to it again, so you can really go through it slowly and listen to the things that I'm talking about in terms of answers and how to find answers. So there are a lot of really good benefits to your um, going through it. But the books that we really use are Cambridge books 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we use maybe a little bit of number 11 also. But I really, really think that you should get the books. I have all the books. I make all my students that I teach in person to, use, to have the books so that we're doing things correctly and properly um, in terms of preparation for the exam. So again... Get out there, uh, get your books, have your physical copies of the books so that you are able to really follow along with us, play the audios over if you need to play them over or you want to listen to them in a different kind of way and you can have all the best practice materials. Because if you want to do well, you have to listen to the lectures that I give you and then go practice them. You can't just listen to my lectures, okay? In order for you to really get it, Listen to my lectures, listen to the strategy that I teach, understand the strategy that I teach, and then go practice it, okay? Keep practicing it until you get it. If you have any difficulty in your practicing, if you have any challenges in your practicing, let me know what kind of questions you're having difficulty with. I'll be more than happy to kind of give, give an additional video lessons on some of the problems that you guys have so I can explain those problems for you. Okay, that I have no problem with that. I would love to do that for you, but um, I, I don't get paid by Cambridge. I'm not a I'm not an employee of Cambridge. I just think that these are the best books, and that these are the books that you should get. And also, these are the books that we're using to teach this class. Okay, so let's get into the course. I, I'm ready to to teach you how to get that that score of a, of a seven or eight or even nine for some of you if you have great English. So um, I'll talk to you soon and uh, it's been great.